Hey everybody, Mike Maggs of the Maggs Golf Academy here at the Golf Club at Terra Lago. Today I'm at one of our elevated tees, the number three hole, par four. Looks over the entire valley, very beautiful here at Terra Lago. Today I'm going to be talking about getting our swing off to a good start. Now you've probably heard about a pre-shot routine. Just like an NBA player, a basketball player on the free throw line, we're trying to do the same thing every single time so that we can get into our subconscious, we can have a good rhythm. But there's something that I want to make sure that you have within your routine right at the very end when you're about to hit. It's called a trigger. We want something to get us started going back, okay? And that movement is actually gonna be a slight movement forward. If we kind of pay attention to what we do when we do a practice swing, what do we do? We kind of let the club go forward a little bit. And why do we do that? Well, we're trying to find some rhythm, right? We're letting it go forward so we can go. Well, obviously we can if we're doing a golf swing, we're gonna hit the ball as we go forward. So we need to do something that moves us forward a little bit so we can bounce off, have some rhythm, and come back down into that golf ball. Now, what we wanna do is have a nice rhythm to it so we don't get herky-jerky with it. For me, it's just a little bit of a kind of knee bump, just something going forward so that I can start my way back. One thing we wanna kinda of watch out for is getting too much of a forward press to start. That can lead to some trouble. But if you have just a little something it doesn't have to be much and we want to keep it in a nice rhythm so that we can set it come back come right into our golf swing so make sure you have a trigger that moves forward that you can bounce off of to find your rhythm you can do almost everything right in your golf swing if you don't have good rhythm and good timing it's not going to produce the shots that you want so improve your ball striking by just making this little different move and you'll start to see how you get much much more comfortable with the start of your swing keep you from getting in that steering contest with the ball. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, let's see a little forward movement as we start our golf swing. Thank you.